Welcome, welcome back and I need help at Cisco. In this example, we have three relation A, B and C and we want to see which one represent a function and also we want to state the domain and the range. I'm going to start with the domain and the range. The domain of this first relation will be 2, negative 3, 4 and 2 again. So the first number in your order pair represents the domain. So I said 2 negative 3, 4, and again you see that number 2, you don't have to list it twice, you list it only once. Let's go to the second one and list the domain, and the domain will be negative 2, negative 1, 3, and 4. Negative 2, negative 1, 3, and 4. And for the last one, the domain will be 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now let's go to the range. The range of these relations, I'm going to start with the first one, is represented by the second number. So we know, notice here 6, 6, 9, 10. 6, I said 6 one more time, so I don't have to write it. 9, and 10. Let's go to the range of B. And for that one we have 5, 3, 7, and 12. 5, 3, 7, and 12. And let's go to the last one. The last one we have 3, 3, 3, 3. We have only 3 four times. We just write it once. And that's it of the domain and the range. Now let's go to the first part and see which of these is a function. And for that reason, uh, I'm going to erase this guy here in this moment. And whenever you have an order pair like we have here, you want to look to the axis first. And you, you want to see if you have any of those axes twice or more than twice. We're looking here x of 2, x of negative 3, x of 4. Oops, we see this x of 2 here. And what else we notice? First time, 2 is match with 6, associate with 6, and then is associate with 10. We have something like that. 2 associate with 6, and then associate with 10. That is not good because a function. A relation is a function if each element in the domain is associated with exactly one. This has two elements. So this is not a function. No, it is not a function. Let's go to the second one. And again, we're going to look to the axis. And let's see if any of the x repeats. Negative 2, negative 1, 3. And for nothing repeats, so this will be a function. Yes, it is a function. Let's go to the last one. And let's take a look if any of the axes repeats. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Nothing repeats, so like B, yes, it is. You may look here and say, hey, what about these three? Yeah, that's okay, no problem. Okay, this relation still works fine. Each element in the domain is associated with exactly one element in the range. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.